I'm Rob Menzies and welcome back to my channel. Today we are heading up to yet another No Limits track day uh, where we're going to be heading towards Alton Park which for me is my most favourite track in the UK. This thing is amazing. We're going to be heading out yet again on the Small Boys Kawasaki 636 track hire bike um, and as usual I'm always going to be wearing my Helai airbag vest. Um, should be a really interesting day today because as we head out here I know that there is British Superbikes that is going to be heading towards this track within the next week or two so I'm expecting there to be some kind of races around coming and doing some practicing. As you may have noticed at the moment we've generally got clear blue skies behind us and a nice bit of sunshine so I'm hoping it's going to be a really fantastic day. Okay, so I'm getting ready to head out on track and I never head out on track unless I'm wearing my trusty Heli airbag vest. This thing literally gives you 50 times the protection of a normal back protector and is absolutely critical to give you that safety when you're on track. Um, to help you guys out, I have a link for you. Look at the link down below. Um, I'll also put it in the comments and description. Um, this is going to give you £50 off a purchase. So if you're a motorbike rider and you want it for either road or for track, Come and give this one a look. Now as you can see we're here at Alton Park, you can hear the bikes coming along beside me and also when we turn around we can see the paddock is getting filled up in readiness for British Superbikes that are here this weekend. So we're seeing literally all the famous stars of the UK milling around which is fantastic. Okay, so today has turned out to be somewhat different than planned. Um, idea for today was obviously to go out and do all seven sessions, and normally I would make sure, excuse the children that are behind me, <laughs> um, normally what we end up doing is going out and about and doing all seven sessions and basically making the most of that so I can give you a video per session. Um, that hasn't worked out today, basically we have needed to have a few diverse versions due to issues with fuel pumps on the bike. Um, so that's basically meant rather than being on the Kawasaki 636 as we usually do, I've had the joy of going out on a Gix 1000 today. So we're going to mix it up a little bit and um, in this video we're going to show you some different clips from when I did manage to get out on the 636 and also when I managed to get out on the Gix 1000 and uh, we can show you a few different parts. So stick with us and hope you enjoy.
Okay, so as I mentioned, we swapped over to the Gix 1000, and as you may tell by my attire, swapping over to a brand new Suzuki GSX-R 1000, I was pretty excited about that, because quite frankly, it's a bike I've always wanted to try, being a bit of a Suzuki fan. And I've got to say, I was absolutely amazed. Now, what's coming up next is going to be the analytics of the next session. So it's the fourth session that I'm now going out on, on the Gixxer. Um, basically found it really really difficult and I would welcome in the comments any feedback that you guys have around how to improve this. Basically what I was finding on the new bike is the Gix 1000 is a very short wheelbase because of that the moment you wind on the throttle the front wheel just wants to come up off the floor all of the time. Couldn't keep the front wheel on the ground so I had to be a lot more progressive on the throttle. Um, at the same time what I was also finding because of that as I'm coming out of the corners I needed to be a lot more gentle before I could roll on the gas. What I was finding is super super quick in a straight line as you would expect jumping from something that's basically 130 brake horsepower to something that's 200 brake horsepower. Obviously hell of a difference um, but yeah really really quick on the straights to the point where I was finding that actually I wanted to roll off the throttle and as you were as you're watching this, I keep an ear open, I was actually wussing out of it, I'll be quite honest about it. My brain just couldn't compute the speed, um, so I was rolling off a little bit. And then again, because you were carrying more speed, I was noticing that when I was on the brakes, rear wheel was coming off the ground a little bit more because I was on the brake. So I found it a little bit all over the place. Um, when we come back and actually look at what I'm doing lap time wise, I'm anywhere between 7 to 10 seconds slower on the Gix Thou than I am on the ZX uh, 636, which was quite a surprise to me, I've got to say. Uh, but here comes the analytics. As I said, I'd really welcome some comments and feedback from anyone watching this as to what you do uh, to help kind of keep the front wheel on the ground and manage the speed a little bit. But anyway, here we go. <laughs> So this time I'm out on track in the novice group. Basically, I was out doing a little bit of a test run on the ZX636. We were hoping that we were going to try and get the fueling sorted on this session. Uh, so this was the fifth session. This was the session after lunch. Um, and yeah, basically I nipped out. Unfortunately, there still was the same problem. It wasn't yet resolved. Uh, but what it did manage to let me to do is to slot in with a couple of friends of mine that you would have seen jumping around behind me earlier on in the video. Um, so this is going out with my friend Nick and my friend Duncan. You will see me overtake a couple of bikes and overtake Duncan. And then I slot in behind Nick and follow him for the lap. So we're now just going to show you that lap and following along behind him.
Okay, so for the rest of the day, we are gonna be on the Suzuki GSX-R, and uh, this particular session didn't last very long. Basically, it got red flagged as I was on my outlap, so really not gonna show you very much of it. A bit that I did wanna show you, though, as I was zooming along um, to one of my favorite corners, I went and dropped a gear, but I didn't think I'd actually dropped a gear, so I dropped another one. So basically, I was zoomed along in fifth, wanted to drop to fourth, and I actually dropped to third. As I did so, the arse of the bike wiggled around all over the place. You'll get a bit of the vibration on the camera. Completely and utterly missed and overshot my turning point, and basically had to try and drag it back for the corner. So, um, if I'm honest, it kind of unsettled me a bit, so I was pretty happy when I went around the next corner and I saw a red flag out, so I could go and just recenter myself for the next session. Take a look, see what you think. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please remember to not only like the video but also hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos like this in the future thanks again for watching and see you again soon